I, I don't know. What? <laughs> oh my god, it's eating a nut. Oh, I love this game. It's so adorable. It ate it. Oh, you're so cute. What's going on guys? Dragas here and welcome back to another episode of Birthdays the Beginning. We got our fellow god shitweed here with us and today it's all going to be about hopefully evolving some species, getting some land-based species, and really focusing on the animals. Now, I have been focusing mostly on terrain customization, trying to build the perfect world or a, per a world that I like, and I just kind of let whatever grow, grow. Uh, but if you don't know, you can kind of look into it and actually choose what you want to grow or, you know, kind of build your planet around what you would want to grow. So we're going to start doing that today. So let's go into the game info and check out some of the library here. So this is all the animals in the game. It's a lot like Pokemon. Each one has a number, uh, plants and animals, that is. Uh, but we, what we want to do is go to the tree here because this is where you're going to see... Uh, a, how complex this game is, and B, where we go to get to the dinosaurs and whatnot. So, as you can see, once again, we haven't really focused much on, uh, you know, evolving things and whatnot. So, you can see a lot of my creatures are still very early into, uh, the tree here. Because they're very simplistic animals that are meant to be, uh, an early game animal. But the cool thing about this... Uh, for example, we've made a lot of butterflies. If I wanted to get this butterfly, we can see their birthing temps down here, which is really, really hot. Uh, their adaption temp, birth moisture as well, and then the height of their preferred area. So, with all that information, we can really kind of fine-tune this and focus on what we want to get to. So currently the most complex species that we have is the Pikia, uh, and that one uh, was a very recent one, I believe. And uh, as you can see, there's, I mean, there's just so much in here that we get to explore and check out. It's not just, you know, dinosaurs, but there is the uh, T-Rex himself there. But there's also, there should be humans somewhere in here too. Uh, I think we're a little too far for humans, as weird as that is. Uh, it's wherever the monkeys are, so I think I'm gonna try and just get at least down this tech tree a little bit today. Uh, and the only way we can do that, you can see the actual tree ends right at the Pikia here. So we have to evolve this guy and get him down to at least these fish here. So whatever number 16 are. Uh, so let's just uh, kind of take some notes here. They, they like to see the birthing temp is 30 degrees Celsius to 40 and their adaption temperature is 15 to 68. So uh, from what I remember, we're definitely going to have to heat up our earth here. Uh, is this the same? Yes, it looks like 36 to 46. And it swims through the ocean water, so I think we're gonna expand out our ocean a little bit. That's going to, once again, heat up the Earth, which is what we need, and then hopefully, uh, that Pikia will evolve. Mind you, I thought the Pikia was a little further up. Uh, I guess it might be down here? I have no idea. And a lot of you said I need flatter grounds, uh, to really start evolving some of these bigger creatures, and I totally plan to flatten out a lot of this. Uh, I, I just, I just like the look of it right now, so, uh, we're going to keep it like this, and I'm going to try and expand out the sea a little bit, and then hopefully the Pikias will, uh, like this. Alright, and doing whatever we did, we got a new animal, actually, Spino Medusa. Uh, I was just actually, I didn't mean to speed up so much time there. Uh, let's go see if we can find the Spino Medusa, though. I don't actually know what that is. We got a lot of shit we need to ID here. You can see, once again, the butterflies doing great out here, you know, no predators or anything. They are quite literally living the life. All right, good news, guys. I think, as you can see, down in this hole here, I think we got a whole new species down in the deep sea. Very deep sea, negative 34 T. So we're going to ID this thing. Uh, is this the new creature that I found? Yes, the Spino Medusa. Now, this is an Anthraco Medusa that lives in deep waters. As it thrived in the sea, it continued to drift until it ended up in the deep sea. So, that is our first deep sea creature, guys. That's why I wanted to add the deep sea already, just in case weird shit like that happened. It looks like we got a few more animal life over here. Unfortunately... Nothing to do with the creature that I want to evolve. I can't even find him anymore. From what I remember, he was actually down the river a little bit here. Uh, let's see if we can find him. Oh, yes! There they are right here. So this, they're actually in the shallows right now, and this is the Pikia. So, does it actually like the shallows? Now, I'm going to use the Seed of Mutation on one of these, and we'll see what happens when we do do that. So we're going to, you know what, just to be safe, I don't know if you need to do multiple times to get more lucky. 
Uh, I'm, I'm really weirded out by the fact that these guys are in the shallows, because I thought they were supposed to be a sea creature, but they seem to be doing well over here, so that's good. Uh, says it's about 34 degrees Celsius in here, uh, so that should be good for them. Uh, do we want to do an orb of evolution? I don't think it's actually going to help me because I don't need to evolve it. Actually, I guess I really would need to evolve it. So we got the Velopikia and then the Ordinary. What we need to get is this thing here. So birth temp is 36 to 46 degrees Celsius. So again, uh, we are going to need to up the temperatures of the sea a little bit. Uh, definitely a little bit. I think, what were we at? 33 if I remember correctly? Uh, yes, we're at 33, so it does need to heat up just a little bit over here, so I'm wondering if we open the item menu here, I know, I think, I think the, the smallest heat stone, mysterious cloud that greatly lowers the soil moisture, okay, so this is just sunlight, so I don't think that's going to heat it up at all, now, now that, that doesn't really make sense though, because it should, uh, it is sunlight, it should heat it up, but it's just talking about soil moisture, so I don't think we need that yet, I think I'm just going to throw a warm stone down here. Now, this might kill them off, uh, but I feel like they need to be a little bit warmer. So let's just try it out, see what happens. You know, it's all about experimentation here, and hopefully we can evolve these bad boys and uh, see what happens. So with that being added here, uh, that bumps it up to 44 degrees Celsius. That should mean they should evolve, and uh, we'll speed up time and see what happens here. And, oh, oh, okay, marine butterflies are dying. Uh, we have more extinctions. Oh my god, I didn't expect everything to go extinct here. Alright, we got something new. Din- Dinorthus? Uh, I don't know where that popped up. I didn't notice it. It was going so quick. Uh, but we got 16,000 of them, so I'm wondering if that's a plant. I can't actually tell. Oh yes, it is definitely a plant. Okay, so now that the new thing went away. Uh, so I'm just gonna wait out, wait it out a little bit more here and see what happens. All right, so we waited a few hundred thousand years. Let's go see what else we got over here. It looks like, ooh, a totally new plant, so we will capture all of this stuff. Uh, the plant one's not that interesting, but obviously heating up over here. The plants did seem to like it. A star-shaped ig ig igninioderm that dwells in shallow seas among colonia. A carnivorous creature, it mainly subsists on Dinorthus. Oh, I, I didn't realize it was a creature, so it's kind of like a starfish, probably. That's kind of cool. And we leveled up once again, so we're at level 9. Uh, we are we are getting levels pretty damn quickly here. Oh, we actually got something to collect over here. Now, unfortunately, how is my uh, dudes doing here? You know what? Let's ID that. There's something else. Is that a creature? What is that? Oh, it looks like some sort of shell. Yes, it's a brachiopod that lives with Colunia and Elthrathia in very hot shallows. Okay, so I'm feeling like maybe I'm going to go back to um, the tech tree here or the evolution tree and see if they like the shallows because, yes, this is all shallows over here. We still got our little dudes living over here, so the increase in temperature didn't seem to bother them, which is really good. But it, the new species is not evolving, so maybe if I use an evolution thing on this guy, let's try it out. Since we, I think, I think we have a couple of them. Uh, yeah, we'll use the seed of evolution on, not the Colunia. We want to make sure it's the Pikia. There we go. So we got one seed of evolution left. I want to keep that just in case we need it. Uh, but we'll see what happens now that we made that that. Because this is 44 degrees Celsius. And if we go into the library here, I don't know why it doesn't automatically go to tree. That's really annoying. Uh, this one is what we want. I really wish you could, like, put this up on your screen somewhere so you have it all prepared. So, a jawless fish that swims through hot ocean waters, consuming Pikia and Cyclomedusa. So, maybe I should just heat up C, because we, we need to go to the C, right? Uh, birth temperature at 36 to 46 degrees Celsius. So, I'm trying, I'm thinking it's the Pikia that needs to evolve, but maybe that's not the case. Maybe it just eats that and needs that alive. Uh, to fish that. So let's go away from the shallows. We're gonna go... I kind of made a nice flat sea over here. Yeah, like right here. I think a nice heat stone would uh, do some interesting things here. There we go. Okay, so that's to be flat ground. That bumped up the temperature to 42 degrees Celsius. So some interesting stuff is gonna go on here. Uh, I'm wondering if I should flatten this out a little bit or maybe make some more sea. I'm feeling like I'm making almost too much sea though. But we still do need to heat up this earth. All right, looks like we got another starfish we got to capture. So uh, the starfishes are coming in full waves now. Uh, that's pretty cool. I don't even know if they're starfishes. They look like starfishes, though. Uh, there's probably, yeah, there's a lot more stuff we still need to capture. I'm going to go around and get some of these uh, 
glowing orbs, because we are going to start utilizing some more Seed of Mutations and Seed of Evolutions, and I could definitely use some of them, so let's go for a little wander here, and I keep forgetting that we have a speed boost. Look at this, I'm fucking Superman. Ah, uh, there we go. That should be a whole bunch of different things. And we got some more over here. There we go. I love how they can't even catch up to me because I'm so damn fast. Uh, I think that is more or less everything. So there we go. We probably got a bunch of new stuff. We even got some river sources in there. Uh, let's go to the fun part, though, and speed up time a little bit. We do got some stuff to spend, and we'll see what happens. So we got a lot of new, a shitload of new. Holy shit, too much new. Uh, we should probably pause this in a second here just to see what's going on. Uh, I'm not seeing any type of fish though. Wait! I see fish! I see fish! Alright, things are going crazy right now. Things are popping up left, right, and center. Let's go back down and see if we can see some fish maybe around that heat stone. Hopefully around that heat stone that we placed down. Alright, there's the stone. We got another starfish here. Not looking like much actually changed over here, but we do got fish somewhere. We do know that, so let's look for the little blinkies. We got a little blinky over here. We got an ID. This crazy-ass terrain, it's very difficult. Oh, wait! I see you now! Now that I have a first-person view, this is it, right? Yes, we captured it! What is that? Uh, we do have the jawless fish, the Astropus! That's what we needed! Look at that little derpy bastard! He's kind of adorable. He actually reminds me of Slime Rancher. He kind of looks like one. Uh, but yes, this is the thing that consumes Pikia and Cyclomedusa. So... Uh, now that we have some of those, we actually should be higher up on the tech tree now. Let's go check that out, or the library. Whatever, whatever you want to call this tree thing here. Yes, we did. Oh, wait. We... Okay, it should... So there's some other fish. Oh, wait, no, we... I'm an idiot. We just, we just got this. So now we need to go down and get this. A small fish native to various sea habitats. This creature first appeared in the ocean when Flora began to thrive on land. Well, you're a little late because Flora's been on land for a couple episodes now. All right, but birth temp is 30 to 40 degrees Celsius and C once again. So actually, if we, you know, just spend some time here, we actually might be able to get to this one too. I might want to use my evolutionary thing on the fish, but we will uh, do that later on if we can't get anything new. I'm going to go around and look for some other new stuff as well. Actually, doesn't look like too many things, mind you. There's just so much on this map now, it's hard to see what's blinking or not. We do have a little blinker. Right on the river over here. Is there an animal in here? I hope so. Actually, I just realized in the third person view, the only thing that shows up is new animals. So that is really useful. So I'm going to go around uh, capturing some of these things. We got a bunch of new, well, we got some dragonflies here, obviously, but we got a bunch of new stuff. It looked probably plants or it could be butterflies. There's a lot of butterflies down here, too. Uh, I saw something I could ID. Uh, nope, I guess that's not. It just uh, has an arrow as well. But down here, actually, are these trees? These trees don't look familiar. I think, yes, that is a new tree. We got some sort of palm tree here. Oh, wait, no, it's, it's a fucking spider. I thought I was IDing the tree, but no, there's some derpy spiders in here as well. Uh, so the spiders are back in full force, which is obviously good. And what are you, cute little things? I'm going to ID you guys now. We captured that one. Is that actually the next one up? I feel like that was. Andro Lapisus. Uh, a small fish native to various sea habitats. Yeah, this creature first appeared in the ocean when Flora began to thrive on land. That is actually what we needed, so I didn't know that. You actually need to find it and ID it for it to show up on that tree. So, uh, I'm gonna focus more on IDing now then, now that I know how important it is. Uh, we also got something new up here. Is it the flower? No, I, I don't recall getting any bell, bell flowers, but there's something up here. Maybe... <sighs> See, I really wish there was an easier way to ID this, because you gotta... It's, it's a... It's almost like playing Where's Waldo trying to find where these damn things are. Alright, having a damn hard time trying to figure out what the hell that thing is. I've ID'd most of the stuff around, though. Oh, shit! What the fuck are you? You're adorable! <laughs> well, you're a pleasant surprise, aren't you? Um, what is this? Okay, so this is a Colacanthus. Uh, this species of fish secured a habitat for itself by migrating to the deep sea... Praise on Andre Lepis. Wow, that is that is a big ass fish. And look at that, we leveled up once again. This is the episode of evolutions, I guess, guys. So I'm really glad I made the deep sea now. I was actually gonna wait until we get some more land animals, but uh, they seem to be doing pretty damn well now. So uh, we still got a few more things hanging around. There's actually, oh, that's uh, something we can pick up over here. So we will grab that, but there's also some stuff going on in the mountains here. Aside from that, there's really not much else going on, so 
I think we'll just quickly skim this, try and find some stuff. And if we can't, we'll just move on. I think it's actually mostly these orb things. Oh, I think, can I ID that? Uh, I don't know. What, whatever, it doesn't even matter. Nope, can't ID it, but there's something back here. What? Where? It's like right, it says it's right here. The only thing I see is this damn bush. Maybe it's up. Oh, oh! <laughs> I found you, you little bastard! Okay, so we got another dragonfly. Uh, the migrator, the cool mid elevation environment. So, yeah, that's my one complaint with this game. It really is, you know, a scavenger hunt trying to ID all these things, and you need to ID them to get your uh, le level up. So, kind of annoying, but uh, you know what? Still a really great game here. Alright, so I don't really want to do too much to the land. I know I got all this HP here that I'm not really using, but I feel like if I do too much to the land, bad things are going to happen. What I do want to do, though, now that there's not really much going on in the mountains here, I do want to make some frost mountains. You know, I want to have some ice caps at the top. Maybe some weird stuff will happen because of that, so... What we're gonna do is just ice cap the hell out of this thing. So basically, we want this to be almost zero. Now, what is the current temperature? It's about 17 degrees Celsius, so... I'm actually, you know, I'm gonna put it, drop it by 20. I think that should be good. I don't want it to be, you know, tundra, uh, where nothing can survive it, but I do want to have a little bit of freeze. So we'll put that stone there, we'll see what happens. This might actually change the world a lot, so I'm a little worried. But I'm also excited! This game's all about experimentation, so... We'll see what happens here, let's speed up time. And let the fun happen! Alright, we had something go extinct. Uh, something new, that's good. Uh, looks like there's a little bit of ice cap, so that's good too. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm worried about my, uh, my fishies. I don't want the fishies to go away, obviously. Alright, I think we gave it enough time. Let's go back and check out what's going on here. So do we have a lot, oh, actually a lot of ID stuff to do over by the mountains over here. So, I think we made some interesting shit. What is this? We got some snow-capped trees, I think? Or they might be something totally different. Kind of looks like a weird tree, but I don't know. Actually, it's bacteria. I just got an achievement. A fungal mass that towers over fresh water and wetlands. It decomposes plants such as Baragwenthia. All right. So we got some fungus. That's actually a really good thing because fungus is really one of the starting blocks of life. Looks like we got a different fungus over here as well. So I'm kind of glad I decided to cool down uh, the mountain here because there's fungus everywhere. Actually, I think, yeah, it's this little Spongebob-looking plant. I don't know why, but, uh, this whole art style reminds me of Spongebob. This is coral that lives among Cyclomedusa in warm shallows. It also serves as a habitat for Androlepis, uh, which I believe are one of those fishes that we've ID'd. So, uh, another very good thing to have. I think the rest of these things on the map are just, uh, things we can grab, so I'll quickly do that. And... Uh, I might do some more fine-tuning, see what else we can make. I would really like to get some large land creatures by the end of this episode. <gasps> Look at that! Speak of the devil! What are you doing, you cute little bastard? We got, well, I think a dinosaur of some sort. That is so cool! And I love how he chose the pyramid of all places to call his home. So, yes guys, we have finally hit it! We got some bigger land-based animals, so let's see what this guy is. A Colacanthus flourished. This amphibian was the first to set foot on land. Alright, so officially the first amphibian to set on land, so that is awesome. The Ichthy Ostega. I hope I said that right. That is so damn cool. Oh my god. This is an awesome game. Alright, let's go pick up these final few things. We got one over here. Now, I'm gonna look at the tech tree and see what else we can get to, because I'm gonna try and, you know, uh, kind of engineer the species now, what species we want to do. So, we'll check out what we got going on now. I think I've ID'd everything in the world, so that's good. And we'll quickly see what we can do next, or what would be smart to do next. So, we'll go to the library here, we'll go to the tree. And we should have, yes, there is our new, uh, cute little fishy species, and that actually birthed the, uh, Ichthy Yastega. My, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce these things. Uh, but now we can evolve that, or, you know, kind of entice it to evolve into this, which is the first reptile. Now, birth temps for him are actually rather low, uh, and also he prefers the lowlands, so we might want to kind of build an area like that. 
Uh, I am gonna have to drop the temperature of the world, though, I think, to get any further. Now, once he evolves, we can actually go right to this bad boy as well. And you get the idea, it's not really that hard to get to all the evolutions. The hard part is to get to these land-based species. So I want to see, I want to figure out where the monkeys are. How the hell do I get to the monkeys? All right, rats, that's, that, that, that's close. Rats are definitely close. So we got tigers. We're getting into the mammals at least. Uh, whoa, I, I don't know if this is, I don't know if I like seeing what's going to happen. All right, there is the monkey now, I'm assuming down here. Uh, we got lots of different monkeys, but then, yes, we got the humans as well. So we're going to, what I want to do is make basically Jurassic Park. I want to have humans, uh, living with dinosaurs. So we need to get to that monkey. It's going to be quite a long ways away, but what's going to be the easiest thing to do that is obviously... Ick. So I think I'm going to mutate the fuck out of Ick and just see what he makes. Uh, we will also evolve him, I think. So that, that will be the smartest thing to do. Uh, I'm not really going to look at temps just yet or anything or try and make the world perfect for things. I, I like to just see what happens. That's the funnest part about this. So we're going to close that. Uh, we're going to go back down and I'm going to uh, put some stones on our little friend here. All right, let's see if we have, do we have any more evolution stones? I know we had one. Oh, now we have four, so that is good. We got lots of different stuff to put on this guy. So we will mutate him, and we will evolve him, and hopefully something interesting will come out of that. Now, if I could just control this damn guy. Shitweed, you are very difficult to use, but there we go. We got the seed of evolution as well. Now, where he's currently sitting, it is considered lowland, so that's where he needs to be to evolve. Mind you, it is a little bit hot, so we can drop the temps if we do need to. I just want to see what happens, though, now that we have did that, uh, and if we speed up time here, something crazy might happen. I don't know. That's a lot of new things. That's a very good sign. We got things going as think, though. All right, I don't want to I don't want to go too quick, actually, because I think we got a lot of interesting things right now. So uh, we'll quickly check this out, see what happens here. Uh, any any new any new species over here? He's still alive. That's good. All right, actually, now that I've went into this view, oh, shit! <laughs> oh, that's great. I didn't, I didn't expect that. I expected maybe one, but look at this! Look at this! We are turning into a dino territory! You are adorable. I like the red one, actually, a little bit more. All right, let's ID this thing, see what this thing is. I think that was the, the next guy up on the, oh, yeah, it's the first reptile, the Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon? I don't know. The first reptile in cool climates, unlike... Ick, we'll just call it Ick. It moves on lands that have a little water. Okay, so it likes the water. That's good. It's actually in a perfect area then. And it's little friend here. Hopefully they don't eat each other. What are you good, sir? Uh, this is another Ick. So I think, uh, yeah, migrated away from the shore to live in freshwater regions. It mainly feeds on organisms that live in the river. So basically, this is a mutated form of Ick, and that is the evolved form of Ick. So... The stones worked exactly how I wanted them to. There's actually some more stuff, though, so let's go see. What do we got out here? It looks like it's just some sort of flower. Not that that's that interesting, but free XP is always good, and we got something else as well. Oh, oh my god, you're so cute! Look at you, you little shitbag! That is... Okay, he, he, he looks like a big, scary dinosaur, but he is so small. <laughs> Look at its little butt. Oh, these creatures are great in this game. All right, I'm really glad I came over here to figure out what the hell it was because uh, I thought it would be a plant. No, we got an adorable para... Uh, let's just call him Parmesan. How about that? I, I, I like that name for him. A spot-tailed warty newt it's ad is adapted for increased temperatures. It appears as... Or sorry, it appeared as Eoraptor began to increase in number. Who? What? What? What the fuck is Eoraptor? Uh, I, I don't have any of those. It sounds pretty badass though. All right, I think that yeah, that was everything new. But holy shit, uh, that was no time at all, and all those things popped up. So I think we'll uh, probably do a little bit more time and see what happens here. I'm just trying to figure out where this damn thing is. It's somewhere up in the mountains. There it is, give me my free thing, and let's get out of here and go, you know, just speed up a little bit more time. I'm actually scared that these guys are going to go extinct, because this world isn't perfect for them. But we'll see what happens, new things are happening. Uh, actually, I think it just went extinct as well, so I, I, th I think we'll give it to, uh, let's try 4.7 million years. So we'll give it a good 100,000 years, we'll see what happens. Things might go extinct, things might come back, I have no idea. There's a lot of new things happening, though. 
All right, that should be good. Uh, I think a lot of the new things actually went extinct because I maybe waited a little bit too long. All right, how are we doing, though? We still got... Uh, looks like the same dinos. I'm just gonna go and look for the new things. Actually, a lot of new things. Oh, look at all these land animals now. Okay, so this is another newt of some sort. Absolutely adorable. My the newts are probably my favorite. Please don't eat it. That would horrify me, and it's probably is going to eat it. A uh, small lizard that scurries through hot grasslands that appeared after the propagation of Parmesan. And the Dime Guy, Dime Tradon. All right, so there we go, and we leveled up once again. This has been a really progressive episode. This is nice. And we also got some more evolutions. Uh, looks like some are in the water here, so hopefully... Did we get something new and interesting? I think that guy's old. Ah, oh, looks like it's some more coral. Not that that's a bad thing. I'd love to get a lot of coral so we can get some exotic um, fish species as well. So that is that. We also got something new over here. I would love to see just a random monkey to just to shock me. Got some more dinosaurs over here as well, or reptiles. I don't know. I, I don't know. What? <laughs> oh my god, it's eating a nut. Oh, I love this game. It's so adorable. It ate it. Oh, you're so cute. I don't even know what I was talking about. I was going to say something, but uh, this adorable mouse, you know, took me by surprise. So, God, I hope you're not food because you are just too adorable to not be food. This is the first mammal, though, and it protects itself by hiding in the shadows of trees. In hot climates, it runs away from Diffy. Diff Don. Diffy Don. All right, so we made it to the mammals. I didn't expect that this episode. Where did he go? Okay, he's just running around. I, I, I worried that he got eaten already. Uh, we also got something new in the waters over here. What are you? Oh, man, this is the gift that keeps on giving. Wait, is this is this the same old guy? No, this is new. Uh, I think it's an uh, evolved form of the old guy, though, so we'll see. All right, we captured it. You are beautiful looking. Uh, this is the Ako Lacanth. Uh, it's, uh, a coal, yeah, it's one of the other coal guys that migrated to warm waters in search of plentiful prey. So, just one of the other guys that migrated. Mind you, that is absolutely awesome. All right, we also got something new on the mountain here, it looks like. Uh, could just be this plant here. No, uh, not that I would really complain. Yes, it, it is indeed the plant, unfortunately. But I can't really complain because we got mice. We got reptiles. We got some giant fish in this episode. I mean, we got everything. So, yeah, obviously, uh, the world is very, very successful right now. Everything's flourishing. I love how a lot of the old animals are still just fine as well. The butterflies are all here. Uh, so it is getting quite lively over here. Uh, with all these reptiles now as well, and obviously with reptiles comes dinosaurs, so I think the next few episodes are going to be very interesting. I'm curious to see what the humans do, what the dinosaurs do, and if they can get along. Now, if you guys have any suggestions for this series, I do read the comments on every one of these videos. I love your input on what you guys like about this series, what you guys don't like. So yeah, feel free to let me know how you guys are enjoying this, and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I will see you in the next one.